Hello, welcome back. I'm Lori Williams. I am a psychic medium, energy healer, animal communicator, and spiritual teacher. Today, I want to talk to you about unblocking your energy. So first and foremost, I do not typically like to use the word blocked. Um, I don't think we're necessarily blocked. We do have stagnant energy that seems very heavy, that doesn't move as fast as our more positive energy does. So it becomes more stagnant and just, just sits there and it's heavier. That's what people call a block, essentially. I just like to use, I just use the term stagnant energy. So when you find that your, your energy is very stagnant, um, you may have, you know, there's might be stagnant energy in your heart center or in your throat. Um, as you can tell, I'm just actually getting over being sick. So there's, you know, like a lot of, um, a lot of stagnant energy going on that I've been releasing through like the ear, nose and throat kind of stuff. Um, that's all very, very kind of like very common stuff. Now, if this is like, really, really, really old stuck energy, like maybe from our childhood trauma, um, you may not be able to do this on your own. You may need to hire uh, an energy healer to be able to uh, move that energy for you. So this is not pertaining to the more severe cases of stagnant energy, but just, you know, the kind of like the little mundane things or um, the energy, um, like, if you've had just had an energy healing done, uh, the, like, I'm going to give you tips and tricks of what you can do to make sure that you're doing everything that you can do to make sure that your energy is clear and full, uh, flowing the way that it's supposed to as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So first and foremost, um, your energy depends on your mood. hundred percent. If you are a very negative person, a very down and out, very pessimistic person um you're going to have a lot more stagnant energy than someone who is a little bit more optimistic and open and upbeat and outgoing um and i don't mean that only outgoing people <laughs> can clear their energy i am definitely i am an introvert i i, I kind of joke that i'm an introvert on top of an introvert because it's like <laughs> i'm super introverted um and but you can do things for your energy and a lot of it is around mood if you are finding your, yourself in a constant place of anger, frustration, stress, your energy is going to be very, very, very low and it's going to cause stagnant energy. So the best thing that you can do is start working on your mindset, start working on getting yourself out of the, the blah, the, the blah, the mundane and start looking at things more optimistically uh, with more open, being more open, being more accepting, um, or just changing the things that you can change. Anything that you have the power to change, if it's not working for you, I definitely encourage you to do that. So the other thing that you can do, or the other thing that, that causes stagnant energy is your overall health too. So if you, and like in my case, I was telling you that I've been sick almost going on a month now that I've been sick. So, um, when I want to get my energy back up after being sick, um, I take time to rest, make sure that I am resting, make sure that I am taking care of myself. Um, that is like of the utmost importance for, for, um, making sure that your energy is as high vibe as it possibly can be, is making sure that you're not giving your power away, make sure that you're not overextending yourself. Um, these are, this is another way that you can make sure that your energy is flowing and, and clear and moving the way that it's supposed to be. The other thing is, is to not suppress your emotions. This is probably the biggest one. Uh, I don't know. The thought one is pretty big too. Mindset's pretty big too. But uh, the, the last but not least is good. we're going to be talking about suppressing emotions. So if you're constantly suppressing emotions, say if you're feeling anger and you're just trying to like, oh, well, I'm just going to like, you know, lock it in the vault, the vault and forget it. Try to go on with life. Um, you're probably going to notice that your energy is going to become very stagnant. So I definitely encourage you rather than... Um, continuing to suppress your emotions to start to feel them to start to sit with them once you start to sit with things that feel heavy you're going to notice that it's not really as heavy as we initially had thought that they are the you know like anger for an example anger usually is um an umbrella term and there's usually other things going on like it might be sadness and so sitting with that sadness it might feel a little bit awkward um, but the more you do it the more you are, are allowing yourself to sit with your emotions and process as you're going through them as you're sitting with them it's so much easier to be able to release them in the moment rather than trying to you know go back 20 years and and drudge them up and sit with them and, and release them i mean you can still do that but 
by all means but uh it is a lot easier for you to to deal with the emotions as they're coming up so those would be the top three ways that i would suggest um that what you can do to make sure that you are keeping your energy flowing and and fresh and healthy and vibrant um so that you don't need to have an energy healer as often in your life. I think everybody needs energy healers in their life. That's, that's and, and the more the merrier. <laughs> so I'm not saying that you wouldn't need one, but you may not need, you know, a weekly session if you're able to do things for yourself um, to make sure that your energy is staying as clear as you can possibly make it. Um, you can either go longer with in between uh, sessions or, when your energy healer does have a session with you, they'll be able to go deeper into clearing your energy. Either way, it's a win-win for you. Um, so I definitely encourage you to do all you can to make sure that your energy is as high vibe and, and vibrant as it possibly can be. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.